Hello everyone, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and we are at week three of my 12 week keto journey and today is weigh-in day. Okay, so this is gonna be another quick video. I'll make it as quick as possible. Life is incredibly busy and I have to uh, go to a meeting in like 30 minutes. So uh, anyways, I wanted to make sure that I, I woke up early so I could film this video for you guys uh, and for myself, honestly. I'm really hoping that after 12 weeks, I notice a difference in at least my face. So let's talk about the following week or the week, not the following week, the week that was just the last week. That's that's the word I'm looking for. Remember the last video I said I had like all this energy and my brain was totally like on fire. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you all. Um, that, ugh, I've had lots of little brain farts this last week. Um, my memory seems to have been just not as good. I, I can't, I, I just feel like sometimes I can't remember something that I was doing, you know, an hour ago. And maybe it's a version of ADHD. I'm, I'm not diagnosing myself, but it, it definitely has felt like a bit more difficult to concentrate on one single task. So I do want to talk about some of that. Um, but I, it was another basically perfect keto week for me. So I'm still tracking, you know, every day. And I'm also starting to track calories and I'm starting to track um, exercise. So what I'm doing every day. The Peloton uh, app is phenomenal. I keep talking about it, but basically what I've done is when you do a workout, you can share it to your Instagram story. And so I managed to work out every single day uh, this last week on that bike. The Saturday after I posted my last video, I did this epic 60 minute bike ride. And I, I mean, it was, I felt good. I felt like I, I, I just felt great. I felt like I could do it. And I made sure to keep my, they have a new feature where your heart rate is, you know, connected to the, the bike itself. So sometimes I won't listen to the trainer if the trainer is like, go faster, like pick up the cadence. And I'm already seeing that my heart rate is a little too high. Um, I'm really glad that they did that because I'm starting to wonder if maybe before they did that, when I was using the Peloton bike, like maybe it was actually a little dangerous for me because my heart rate, I get it up there, guys. Like I get it up there. It goes from anywhere from like 140 to 170 if I'm pushing it really, really hard. And when I see 170, I kind of like freak out a little bit. And so I kind of get it back down to like the 150 to 160 range. But yeah, I felt I felt great after the bike ride. Uh, but then I kind of crashed after that. Uh, I think I pushed myself a little too hard. And so I kind of felt like that energy that I was talking about on week two, I didn't feel the energy that day. Um, I actually felt kind of burnt out. And so I think, like I said, I pushed myself too hard. And while my body has been in ketosis this whole time, it's still a process. And that's another reason why I'm doing this for 12 weeks because I've, I've just been reading a lot of articles on this and talking to a lot of people and following people on YouTube about this. Um, it really takes like six weeks for your body to be like fully adapted to the fat burning process, just fr from what I've found. If others are experts on keto, please comment below, give me more resources. I just wanna read, you know, the actual science that's behind it. I, I'm not interested in like opinion pieces. I, I really want to learn about, you know, the science behind this and the actual studies that have been conducted, that's what I'm interested in, in finding. So if you have any resources, please let me know. But yeah, that day, you know, I, I kept my carb intake uh, below 20 and that for, that's that been the story the whole time. Um, I will say in the middle of the week, I, I've been trying to be aware of how much water I'm, you know, putting back into my body. And I'm drinking anywhere from like six to eight bottles of water a day. And it's like a giant water bottle, like a, one of those, I think it's 750 milliliter water bottles, like the Camelback kind. So I feel pretty hydrated. I guess I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of experiencing some um, like IBS symptoms. And, and I know that that's a part of it. I, I'm trying to stay away from sugar alcohols as much as possible. 
I did, uh, I did actually put some sugar alcohol into my system, uh, during the week last week on Wednesday, I think. And, um, well, that was just like a couple days ago, I guess. Uh, but that kind of messed me up a little bit. I definitely felt gassy. I felt like, and it was like a really painful kind of gas where it's like, well, this isn't normal. And it's like kind of radiating around your body. And I thought I had like kidney stone. Like I, I'm one of those people that like looks up something on WebMD as soon as I feel a symptom and I'm like, oh, I have cancer. Um, so I'm paying attention to all this, you guys. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be very safe about this. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm experiencing this week, uh, like this last week, it, a lot of, a lot of IBS stuff, like a lot of gas. And I am trying to record how much fiber I'm ingesting and trying to see if maybe I'm becoming lactose intolerant. Like I, I, I don't think I was ever lactose intolerant, but I know that you up, you up your dairy when you do keto or you can, if you choose to. And so maybe that's what's going on. I, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna stick it out and stick to this and see if there's you know a light at the end of the tunnel if if the symptoms just get worse so they don't go away then I think I need to kind of like process that and figure out what do I need to do to alleviate those symptoms as much as possible um, so yeah, I, uh, let's, let's get into, you know, the, the weigh in. So I weighed in this morning and, um, I started this reset journey at 190.6 and I stepped on the scale and I am now 187.6. So that is a solid three pounds that I've lost in the last, uh, three weeks. I'm really happy with that number, mostly because I, I think, you know, I'm exercising a lot and I'm, I'm putting a lot of, um, uh, doing a Peloton workout, you're, you're working your, your, your butt, you're working your, you know, your uh, thighs and there's a lot of muscle there. So I'm, I'm more interested in losing weight slower while trying to retain like the muscle mass as much as possible. So that number is actually, I'm just glad that it's going in the right direction. And I'm glad that it is, I, I think I can safely say that it is like three pounds of fat um, because my body has been in ketosis and I've been in a calorie deficit. So yeah, I, I'm, I, it's not like, oh, you know, I lost 10 pounds guys in the first 10 days. Um, it's nothing like that. And, and so that, that makes me feel like I, I am doing this correctly. And, um, I, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of just see how it, how it goes. I'll weigh in again in, uh, three weeks from now. We'll call that quarter two. There's four quarters. Um, so yeah. Let me know how your journey is going. If you're on a weight loss journey or just a health journey, I love hearing about it. And uh, I will see you guys next week when I give you my inches lost, hopefully lost. Um, have a wonderful day.